Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited today because I have the Makeup Revolution Bratz Collab Palette. This is called the Limitless Palette and they have a couple other things in the line as well. I know they have a black liquid liner. They have some lip crayons, some lip plumping glosses. They have a couple colored eyeliners as well. And I think maybe a lip scrub and stuff, but I picked up the Limitless palette from the collection and this does retail for $28. So I decided to pick this one up. They also have individual palettes of each girl. I did buy those. Those ones haven't came in the mail yet, but I do plan on doing a video on each palette of each single girl here. So if you guys want to see that, subscribe to my channel and I will let you know when I get those in the mail and do some fun videos with those. But today we're going to be testing out the big one that incorporates all of them. So I thought this one would be fun to do first. And I also have two of the little lip glosses here. So I have the Jade and the Chloe plumping lip glosses. So I thought we would go ahead and try this stuff out and see what we think. So I did my face base makeup already, but this palette does come with like three big kind of highlight shades. So I thought we would try the highlighters in here I do want to go ahead and show you guys the packaging real quick so here here is the little unicarton it comes in it has all the girls which is so cute there's Sasha Chloe Yasmin and Jade Jade was my favorite of course and on the back it just has a little picture of the shades here and all the ingredients and this has a mixture of things that has mattes um, metallics and I think some chunkier metallics as well here is the big palette so cute and it does have like that tin style packaging so this is so cute I don't really have any other palettes that are in this type of packaging the metal um, besides my like old Too Faced chocolate bar and stuff like that uh, but that's pretty much all I love the pink and purple packaging because I don't know when I think of brats I think of pink and purple so we might have to do that type of look today so it just opens up like this and I have already tried a couple of the shades and done some swatches and stuff so it doesn't look perfect. Here is the inside of the palette and it also comes with a really nice big mirror so that's definitely helpful to it's helpful to look into while you're doing your makeup. While I'm deciding what kind of color I want to do, I want to go in to one of these highlights here. I'm going to go in with this shade Halo. I'm just going to apply that like I would any other highlight and we will see how it looks. I'm going to put a little bit of this top one as well that's called Accessorize because it looks a little more blingy. So I think that highlight is actually really pretty. It's pretty blinding and it did a good job. So I approve. <laughs> I actually really like those shades. If you guys do want to see swatches, I'm going to do some at the end of the video and show you guys all the shades on my hand just so you can see what they look like if you're curious. I'm going to go in with the shade Jade. It's just a really nice light pink color and I'm just going to put that all over the crease. going to do one eye and then do the other eye off camera just so it's a little bit easier for everybody here is the shade Jade I think that color is really nice just a little subtle pink right there I'm gonna go in with feeling pretty this nice berry toned purple color Go back in with the jade shade and just kind of try to defuse the edges just the slightest bit
I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm just going to cut my crease off camera and then we can hop right back on into the shadows. I want to go in with the shade called Tweevils. I don't know if you remember the Tweevils, but they were like the evil twins from Bratz. So, but this color looks so pretty. It's like a bright, it's like a bright punchy pink. I think I want to go in with this one. I'm not going to wet the shade. I just kind of want to try it by itself. So let's see how this works. Oh, that's not sticking very well. This one might be one that works better with the fingers. I have a feeling it's going to be so let me just go in with my finger and try it. That seems to work a lot better. The fashion color is right here. It just looks super fun and foiled and it's like a really pretty purple kind of metallic. So I think I'm going to go in with that one and focus it more on the inner portion of the cut crease. And I'm going to use my finger because I honestly think it works better than trying to use the brushes with these kind of chunkier metallic colors. And I'm just using my finger to kind of blend it in with the twee Tweevils <laughs> shade. Um, just so it looks a little bit more seamless. I don't want it to be such a harsh line where they meet. Perfect. I think that looks super cute. I love that. Fashion shade is probably my favorite color from this whole palette. That's so cute. Go in with the shade Midnight Dance. It almost looks brown on the palette, but it's like a really deep purple. So I'm going to take that one and focus that a lot on the outer portion of my eyes. Fashion pack is kind of like a dark purpley blue. I just want to focus that one more on the outer corner just to deepen it up just a little bit more. Well, that's looking so good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and repeat this on the other side and then we will be back to do this lower lash line and get this look together. Okay guys, here it is on both eyes. I absolutely am loving this so far. I love the metallics and I mean the colors are really nice. You do kind of have to build them up but I don't mind that because then I'm not overwhelmed with a whole bunch of color right away. I can kind of build it to the desired look. So that's not really a bad thing in my opinion. I actually really like it. And if you're someone new to makeup and you want to get in to fun colors and stuff, sometimes it is intimidating because one little move, if it's so, so pigmented, it messes everything up. So I think it's actually good in this case. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Feeling Pretty, which was this purple right here. I'm just going to start with that on my lower lash line.
I'm gonna go in with the shade fashion pack again and just smudge that out along my lower lash line as well I think it's a really fun shade to deepen it things up I do want to go in with a um, inner corner highlight and a little bit of a brow bone type of highlight. So I think I'm going to go in with that accessorize shade. It's like a really pretty white gold that I used as my highlight. I think that'll be perfect just to kind of make the inner corners pop. So it's this shade right on the top. And I haven't used any of these shades wet. I've just gone in with all of them dry and they've been perfectly fine so far. So... I am loving it. So I am going to head off camera again just to add some liner, some lashes, and a little bit of mascara just to tie everything all together and then we will go ahead and try on the lip glosses. I did do a little cat eye because I don't know if it's their lashes or what, but the girls <laughs> look like they have cat eyes on here. So I was like, you know what, I'll do one. I haven't done one in a while. I do want to go in with some lip liner because that's one thing I do think that this collection is missing is a good lip liner because brats were all about the big, luscious, plumped lips. So that's one thing I was kind of surprised that they didn't like include in the collection. Um, but I am going to go in with one. I'm going to use the LA Girl Ultimate uh, Intense Stay Auto Lip Liner. And the shade of mine is like ripped off the packaging, but it is like a mauve pink kind of shade. So I'm going to go in with that. So here is the lip liner on. I am going to show you the lip plumping glosses next. So like I said, uh, I got two shades and these do retail for $12. So these just kind of have their name and they're just holographic and like purple, which I think is super cute. On the little end here, they have like the girl symbol, like each girl has a symbol. So Chloe is like the little angel and then Jade is the cat. The glosses themselves are like gigantic. These are the biggest lip glosses I think I've seen like in my whole life. Here's like a Jeffree Star liquid lip and let me hold up the Bratz gloss compared to it. Like that is ridiculous. That is so huge but I love it. So they are kind of like obnoxiously big but I honestly love that about them. Like, here is what they look like up close. This is the Chloe shade and then here is this one. This is the Jade shade. Applicator on these is huge as well. And if I didn't mention they are like a plumping gloss so they have like a minty kind of smell to them which I like okay so this top like nudish one is the Chloe shade and then the Jade shade is the more pink kind of color for our look today since we are kind of rocking the pink and purples I think I'm gonna go in with Jade because it is a little bit more pinky but that Chloe shade is definitely like an everyday color for me I can't wait to wear that one and this smell this is so good they do have lip crayons, like I said, but the glosses are definitely more up my alley. That's why I wanted to get these. So here is the lip product. I think the color is honestly really pretty and it pairs 
kind of with the eye look really well. For this lip gloss, if you guys have tried the So Juicy glosses that are by ColourPop, it really kind of gives you that same feeling. Those ones give you a little bit of a tingle minty feeling. That's kind of how these are. I don't know if it actually plumps your lips or anything, but I do think it looks very pretty and it is a little bit of a thicker consistency I would say it's not a super thin gloss it definitely has some pigment and is a little bit tackier but I feel like that's a good thing because it is a little more long wearing I would say then here is the completed makeup look in all of its glory I'm actually really happy with how the whole thing turned out I think it looks super cute and I love it I tried to do a little like brats type of hairstyle today so and all guys i honestly really love this collection i think it is super fun and i can't wait to get the other palettes in the mail to test them out for you guys and do a look inspired by each girl but this one is just one for all of them together but i think it turned out really cute and all the shades i tried out today were really nice and i will say i did test this out another time i'll put a picture of the look that i did it was kind of inspired by brianna um who does like makeup videos as well it was like a green purple look and i think it turned out really pretty so i will try to put a picture here but the shades i used from that as well were really good i think this palette is worth it and it's really pretty has some fun colors and the lip glosses as well i think are really nice perfect for summer i'm gonna do some swatches on the palette as well so you guys can see that so let's go ahead and get into those. All of those swatch so amazing. I'm honestly shocked. There really wasn't one that was that hard to swatch i think they all looked super pigmented and i'm just really impressed by this quality like i kind of wasn't expecting it but i'm so happy this turned out the way that it did anyways guys thank you so so much for watching today if you enjoyed please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already it would mean so much to me i hope you enjoyed the fun makeup look and i will see you guys in my next one